my name is Takasuka, who is working at Hokkaido University Agriculture Department, and I, I also uh, a member in GI Core GSF. And in my research, I do work on biofuels productions. And as a member of GSF, I have so many opportunities to collaborate with both international and domestic lex scientists. And today, we have. Professor Brian Fox from Department of Biochemistry at the University of Wisconsin Madison, and I'd like to hear his opinion about good, like international collaboration for upcoming globalization in science. Hello, I'm Professor Brian Fox from the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I'm a professor of biochemistry, and I'm participating in the GI Core program here at Hokkaido University. I come to the Hokkaido University twice a year to give lectures on biochemistry and how biochemistry and biotechnology may impact global food production. I also come here to work with my colleague Professor Takasuka and his graduate students on research activities that are related to bioenergy topics of converting plant biomass into biofuels and other useful chemicals. I am communicating with the scientists of UW and through these experiments I became much more confident than before to communicate with the scientists overseas. Hello, I'm Takashi Inoue, Director of Global Station for Food, Land and Water Resources and also the Dean of Graduate School of Global Food Resources, Hokkaido University. Global Station for Food, Land and Water Resources of GCO is an institution that promotes collaborative research and education in concert with the Graduate School of Global Food Resources. Since our station launched in 2015, we have invited many world-class researchers from all over the world. While they conduct joint research with researchers at Hokkaido University, they also conduct classes at the Graduate School of Global Food Resources. So our students have a great opportunity to receive a wide range of lectures and education directly from those world-class researchers. Today, we are facing so many issues related to food, land and water resources. Through the research and the education, we will commit and work hard to get the pathway to solve these problems for our sustainable future. This is the world map, which shows extensive international relationship of the Graduate School of Global Food Resources. Many faculty members are gathering here uh, to seek solution to the global food issues through highly interdisciplinary way that is very much in need. The global population is growing drastically to reach 9 billion by 2050. We must increase global food production drastically to meet this challenge, while we also face another challenge of climatic change in the form of global warming and increased level of natural, global natural disasters. We have the internationally agreed goals uh, towards 2030, named Sustainable Development Goals, and many goals are closely related to food and food production issues. We need solutions, solutions by research and development in scientific way. Uh, why not join us to become a solution provider working internationally? We welcome you.